Hello, Hello, Bobcats, and welcome to another episode of our podcast. Today, I'm accompanied by Joseph, the president of photography. Hello, sir. And accompanied by my co-host, Ernesto. Hi. Kean. What's up? And Kevin behind the camera. What's up, everyone? How have you been? I'm really excited to have the president of photography uh, on today. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate How are you, Joseph? How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing all right, man. You know, <clears throat> it's been a rough, rough week or so. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm really glad to have you on here. I'm really glad to be able to talk to you and yeah. have a nice 30-minute sesh with you. Of course, bro. So with photography, how is that? Like, how has that been? Uh, it's been one of the, you know, best parts of, I guess, like my entire high school career, you know, because like... Um, our amazing teacher, Miss Sanchez, she's, um, you know, very big on, like, letting us take our own paths, you know? Mm -hmm. She's really big on, like, our, you know, our student creativity, you know, like, um, you know, like a couple months ago, I made an assignment for the whole class. For real? I made a whole assignment, yeah. That, that assigned to the whole class? The whole class. That's for all of That's crazy. That's good, because that's, we were just talking about with Miss Barr, like, more teachers being, like, engaging and giving students yeah. more, like, room to just have ideas and be put out there, and you sound like put a lot of ideas a whole assignment yeah. to a class yeah have you done like any pictures like has any pictures you've taken been presented on any websites or uh any? i'm not too sure i they might have uh because she she uses some of the pictures that i've taken uh, mm -hmm. it might have been um we used it for um we used like a good amount of mine to uh, how do i say it like uh, present it to the eighth graders that are mm -hmm. like coming in you know for the cte mm -hmm. showcase mm -hmm. we, we did a fire. bunch of mine because i i had this one of um it was like mac miller and it's like a bunch of different like phases of me. There's one where I'm like looking down, looking at the camera. And it's like it's supposed to be like a really sad thing, mm -hmm. and it was showing a lot. So, yeah. That sounds cool. That sounds like a, <clears> is like that a like lot of your creativity. favorite kind of medium, like photography? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's like because I mean I'm I'm okay at like drawing and stuff, but like the the photography is like really where I'm able to yeah. like, let you know that your, part of me go. Yeah, your artistic uh, part of you. Yeah, absolutely. So have have you have like any friends or like any people helping you along that way? Like what got you into photography? Um, I'd like to, I guess, uh, yeah, I do. Um, so, um, there's this, uh, this man out there named, uh, Brandon Bettis. He was like, uh, yeah. one who really, really like, he taught me about it first mm -hmm. and it really like got me into that path mm -hmm. and then he chose the way of BTV and I just, I stuck with uh, him. I think he works with me now. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Brand, no, yeah, yeah. Brandon's he great on, with, even on BTV I'm, when he's working like the sound and I'm everything. I'm pretty he's sure. A pretty great guy. That's Pettis, right? With the glasses, right? Uh, no. Nah. No? Okay. No. I think this guy's the same last name. <clears throat> really? Oh, because there is two here. There is two Brandon Pettis. One's with... Uh, I don't know the other one's the name. Same exact name. The same, the same exact, exact name. Just Are they related or no? No. no. What? <laughs> That'd be pretty scary. Well, because this one's also saying he graduated or something. Oh, no, no. Da, na, na, the, 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 one, the one that I'm talking about is still here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, never mind. So he's in Bobcat TV, and you yeah. took off with photography, and yeah. you just took off and ran with it. <laughs> Have y'all done any, like, projects, like, any events, like... Uh, like me and him? Or just or in general, like in photography, oh, or like in, in, general. in general. Um, like the like well, like I was saying earlier, like the the eighth grade showcase. That was probably like one of the biggest things. Mm -hmm. And then like I also went to you know we did Bear Fest together. Bear Fest, and, uh, yeah, what's, like what's Bear Fest? It's a uh, like you, um, you make like a like a small short film, and oh. then you have like different like photography like mm. uh, like aspects that come into it, and you make like a flyer for a specific nonprofit. That sounds so like cool. Like yeah. that's creating something straight yeah. from scratch. Like that yeah. sounds awesome. It was really, it was really, um, it was like a great learning experience because we had like not even like three hours on set and we made like a you know a really decent uh, short film. We didn't win any awards, but it, we we tried. Our I mean, making a yeah. film in general, yeah, that sort like, of time, like it takes it, a lot. Of, yeah, it takes a lot out of you. Yeah, yeah and the fact that you're able to make something that you were proud of within that time is just you know, to really direct good. and to have a script, a, a theme, a story. Yeah, have the, the picture quality. So it, yeah, it, it was a crazy, it was a crazy experience. It was about this, um, what's it called? This nonprofit called Mojo Rimba, and mm -hmm. it's basically like, um, you know, like, like under, like you know, underadvantaged kids, like you know, yeah. focusing all their energy on playing the marimba, uh, and it, it's like it was a really cool experience getting to see yeah. them because, dude, there was this one kid. And I can I'll never forget it because dude he was going off man. The yeah. was nice. The was dude, nice. Dude he was he was he was, he was, he was wicked. He was with crazy it. with he was, it. He was crazy with that it. That sounds like such a cool. I mean even if y'all didn't win any awards like that sounds like a very good. I hope yeah. like milestone that sticks in your heart. Dude yeah. it was it was insane. And like uh, at Bear Fest they played they were the entertainment. Really? Like they contracted them to be to be the entertainment. Dang, like, you must have been up. going off. Dude, like, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have seen that. I mean, look, I'm gonna ask you to see that film yeah. just to see like. How I may it need was. to see that film. Yeah, yeah. I may need to see. It. <laughs> so just for you, research purposes. Yeah, yeah, just for research purposes to see how hard he went. <laughs> so, <laughs> that, that kid went hard. 
<laughs> have you participated in like any other programs like any oh, outside yeah. of photography like yeah. what like uh what's it called uh, esports is one of those mm. what do you do in esports uh well i used to like I, i'm not a all, all too uh, into it anymore but i used to play siege I was oh, no, our 16. Yeah, I was pretty good at Siege for a minute. Um, then I kind of just fell off because I, I like all the changes with Buck and stuff. That like that really <laughs> that was like the last straw yeah. for me. Whenever they, they took away his the game, when, when they took away his frags, I was like, nah. And <laughs> okay, done. so over. did you play on console or PC? It was console. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, because originally I had wanted to be on Rainbow too, but they were saying only PC for the esports, oh. so it would have been. I feel like iffy to learn like PC. Well, I mean, you could have played on with, with your controller. Yeah, but and they allowed that. Yeah. I swear I had asked sir. But, but, he was, but here's, here's the thing though. Like, he was saying like, nah, it has to be PC. But like, I feel like the PC players just have so much more control with their aiming and yeah. shooting. Like it's just yeah. like yeah. different competition levels. But I mean, yeah, y'all have a lot more games now. Like, yeah. have you seen it now? Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, there's it's, a lot more in a lot more games. Yeah, it's crazy. It's Smash, Valorant, uh, chess. Um, Chess? Chess now, yeah. yeah. I was like, that, that caught yeah. me yeah. up, guys. Right? <laughs> yeah. No, it is chess. Um, what else? Do we still is, is chess really an esports though? Yeah, there is. Yeah, I like, think it would be like an like online version. Sport, but like, I, I don't know. Like a 2,000 year old game. Just Now it's esports. Yeah. We well, feel like it. I feel like it I depends. Like, like if you play virtual, like if you play against other schools, no. like. The, the, but no. if it's just 1v1, like physical chess, I feel like it should be. There's the thing, though. The, uh, UTSA, Texas A&M have a chess team, and they all do it esports. Online. They all do it online? Yeah. Oh, all, all right. the chess is online? Like, right. uh, Texas A&M went to a semifinals before they lost. Really? Dang. Yeah, and they're offering just scholarships. Just virtual chess? Yeah, they're, they're offering crazy. scholarships. I can never. I, don't, I mean, that's reasonable to be called esports, then. Yeah. Could you see something like that for you, Joseph, in the future with like scholarships <clears throat> of like media, of photography, or even esports? Um, maybe. Uh, I haven't really thought about that doing that too much. Uh, like photography is like a big like passion of mine, but it's not exactly what I like plan on doing. So then, what do you want to do? I want to be a doctor. Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah. Big so been, brain, bro. So you've been, <laughs> so you've been going through the steps to become a doctor. Yeah, absolutely. I um got my forty one credits. Wow, from PAC? Yeah. Or that's amazing, man. Did you go to the PAC graduation? I didn't. Why not? I, I didn't have the. I didn't. Uh, I didn't graduate. Uh, like, what? Wait. So yeah. how many credits are needed to get? Like, Sixty. Huh? Yeah, for, well, okay, did you, did you come in late or, or did you just not? No, uh, it's because I came, I came in late. Like, yeah. I couldn't join early college after, I think, like, my freshman year or something. Yeah, like, yeah. I, that's why, like, yeah. I was talking about that. I wish I came in in my freshman year because I probably could have, like, graduated those yeah. first, that's, that's the first few years, right? For the 60 hours? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. crazy. So, you, can, yeah, happened. you have you to start leave high year. school. But it, I mean, it's still good you're, like, on track. Like, you yeah. still have 41 yeah, credits. Yeah, that's in. already, like, what, a year and a half done? Yeah, pretty much. Like, I need, like, maybe, like, one more semester and then I'm done. Yeah. So is there, like, a specific doctor, like a surgeon, EMT? Like uh, actually, the, um, I actually came up with my actual, like, what I want to do now. Just uh, in light of the the whole like Jacob Lopez thing, mm -hmm. like that was my best friend, and like I lost him oh, yeah. over like a like an emergency accident like that. So I've made that vow that I'm gonna become an emergency medicine doctor. Ooh, okay, mm. that sounds very like awesome to I, help people like that yeah. that got the help that yeah, know, like to just be out there. He didn't get that. You know? Get that right away. That emergency yeah. help that people may need, and that's a very good thing to do mm -hmm. for the world. Yeah, you sound like a very yeah. good genuine yeah. person. Yeah, save lives, hope. make the world a little better place than yeah. what it is. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So so we can I, get some. Can I just have some clarification? Uh, who was Jacob Lopez, and who was he to you, dude? He was uh, the most beautiful person I've ever met. You know, he was, he just, there was something about him, man. He always had the... I know. When he yeah. walked by me in the hallway, that's the only, his, what's up, man? How you doing? You yeah. know, and I love that because I, I, I didn't find that at my other schools. Like, I came here in my junior year, but, like, I hadn't found that in any other school because no one really wanted to just say hi or whatever. But yeah. Jacob was that kind of guy just to say, Absolutely. hey, man, what's up? Like, what are you doing? And then in these last couple of weeks, like, uh, you would see him around the hallways, and then he was just energetic, you know. He was so lively, you know. I, I can only describe him as, like, a, a beautiful sunflower or something Absolutely. like that because he's always, like, shining. He was always shining. I don't know. He had there was flow. something about him. Yeah. He just had that energy on him. Yeah. He yeah. was just, like, a different person. Like, he just felt so genuine. Like, every time I talked to him, he would tell me what he's fully thinking, and he'd f be so full of energy and love. Like, he has no negative energy to give anyone and he was just so like amazing to talk to if you ever needed anything just radiated light off of him dude yeah dude, I, every time was... i would go to whataburger i'd hug him like he'd get off a grill and he'd just come off and i would just hug him and i'd just be like yo give me a milkshake and he'd be like i got you <laughs> and he'd just get me a strawberry uh, that's funny. so the, what you're doing for the future what you're doing to save these people i really hope the best for you and Absolutely. you're doing yeah. an amazing thing so i wanted to backtrack a little bit 
into your like childhood like yeah. how was that like any little things from then that maybe like any photography or games or like anything that interests you as a kid that may be different now or maybe the same yeah um i had a um... I, I, I don't want to say like an absolutely hard childhood, but I definitely didn't didn't yeah. have it easy. I uh, lived in like hotels for a while. Yeah. And like, I think that really like taught me how to just be like, I guess, more understanding of people's situations. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, I could see that because a lot of things like, especially with this school, which is technically a low income yeah. school, like there's a lot of hard parenthood, hard childhood, yeah. but I feel like it's a lot of good experience. Like yeah. there's a lot of people you could meet here that could turn something negative into something constructive and help the people help you help the people around you so i feel like yeah i understand where you're coming from (laughs) yeah because like in my eyes even though it's a low income school that honestly could like change your experience for the better because some of the people you will meet here could really like change your perspective on things like a lot and help you a lot because they understand a lot more like the work it takes to get to some points and they can give you their perspective on like hey this is what you need to do to get to this point yeah there's just like I'm happy that we're able to shine light on it and show that South San has, like, every school has it, but, like, there's always those few people who are just willing to help you and willing to give you genuine advice, willing to genuinely give you their thoughts and be constructive and not negative or yeah. focused on something that doesn't necessarily mm-hmm. impact both of y'all. Because mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people will focus on the negative and, like, Cause, um, really surround themselves by it when there's so much positive even through the negative there's so many great things like taking a picture of a beautiful tree beautiful sunset mm-hmm. something like that can make anyone smile like it'll yeah. just yeah. take a deep breath and just breathe and just enjoy the moment yeah because example um i don't have a mom uh she left when i was very young and to this day i'm so appreciative for the family i have and uh yeah. for the people i hang out with absolutely mm-hmm. man yeah you know, like, yeah, like, and then I kind of, like, we can backtrack that way, but, like, you know, like, the, with the amazing people at South Sand, you know, like, Jacob, you know, he was an orphan, mm-hmm. and then he was still abandoned by his parents. I know. Even at that. So, like, he had the hardest life that anyone can imagine, and he still was He was still that, that, the that most guy. happy, Absolutely. energetic, like, amazing like, vibe to be around. That's the amazing part of this school, is that mm-hmm. we get people like that. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Just, I feel like there's, hopefully there's more people of more willing to open up and just be more positive and yeah. just because jacob was very like yeah. well hey I, f- I recently found uh jacob's account on instagram i didn't know he was a photographer and he takes some really good uh pictures do y'all have you ever like collabed or thought about it uh no we would like make um old, like old um older skits on right. our instagrams oh, and stuff oh, like, yeah. that was yeah that was like our thing for the longest time um we, we didn't get to make the last one. We were supposed to make the last one uh, on my birthday, which right. is coming up. We were supposed to make the last one, but we never did. Wait, when is your birthday? Is, you said it's coming up? Yeah, May 26th. May Bro, 26th. I'm yeah. May 27th. Bro. Oh. That's what? crazy. Damn. That's Damn. crazy. Damn. <laughs> yeah. You know, our, our, our homeboy Joe, he um his May 27th, too. What? Yeah. Bro, that's crazy. crazy. May birthdays. <laughs> Don, dude. Yeah. What? So two 27th and a 26th? That's yeah. crazy. That's that, nuts. Yeah. Like three birthday parties you go to. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Two in one day. Yeah, yeah, two yeah. in one day, I'd make it happen. Absolutely. That's a lot of cake. <laughs> that's a lot of cake. I wouldn't. I mean, I prefer cupcakes. No, that's the real. That's yeah, the, like, the, it unless, depends on the cake. Yeah. A strawberry cake? Nah. A strawberry cake. Ice cream cake. I, I, I mess nah. up a cake if it's cake, dog. I don't care what, what kind of cake <laughs> it is. I mess it up no matter what. I feel like with chocolate, I need it with ice cream. You know one cake I never had? Ice cream cake in general just goes hard. I, I never had a yeah, cookie cake. Like, didn't, Cookie cake? I've never yeah. had a cookie cake. Like yeah, one of those big good. cookies? Yeah. yeah. Cookie cake I've never seen that. That's good. I mean, I've seen that at the mall. I like, never had one. Just like the fat, like, giant cookie. <laughs> yeah, with, like, yeah, yeah. frosting on it. Yeah, like, the, a the American one? Or, yeah. Like, I, mean, like, I, I think I have had one. Like, bro, bro, when I was a kid, I'm one in one just to eat it all. I'm like, bro, that, sh- that looks good. Those cookies are actually very good. Oh, yeah, they're really From that, that would have you feeling, like, bad after, though. Oh yeah, it's like yeah. like 500 grams of sugar. <laughs> Dude, that bro, it's, me... it's a little big <laughs> cookie. What do you expect? That's true. Especially as a child, I'd be diabetic like immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch but the whole thing by yourself. I'm like, yeah. the, the Demol- the ravage big. that cookie. <laughs> but I feel like for a party with a fire. specific design on it, because those fire. cookies taste good. Yeah. yeah. With some ice cream too. Mm. All right, I think we're getting a yeah, little bit side a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. So, did you play any games when you were younger? Like, I know yeah. you said Rainbow. <clears throat> so, what kind of games, like, other games interest you? Like, what is um, your game? My game was uh, The Walking Dead. <laughs> the Walking Dead series? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 
Oh. That was my, that was my game. Yeah. If we were not on camera right now, that's, <laughs> okay. So why? What's your connection with that? Uh, it was just it. You know, it had a very profound impact on me. Mm -hmm. Just with seeing that like that connection between it, like Clementine and Lee was like really like yeah. I mean like, um, it really made like my childhood a lot better. Just yeah. for some reason, it just really had that like. Because it had just such a good, like, storytelling. Like, yeah. especially as a kid, to connect to Clementine as a kid, but also mm -hmm. be in as Lee, like, yeah. as an like adult as the, like taking care of Clementine. Yeah. And the way it ended, the, how the series progressed is, like, yeah. top tier. Did you play all four? Yeah, I played all yeah, four. Yeah. The last season was probably my favorite game. Mine, too. Yeah. Dude. I, have, I, have, I played that game, like, ten times. The, the fourth season, I played that, like, ten Dude, times. I have my best friend. We played one through four. And we played it all in the party, and like the fourth game, dude, we were <laughs> muted, straight sobbing, like at the end. Dude, hey, hey, don't spoil it. I know, I was about to spoil it because there's one part I bet me and Joseph yeah, were I'm so yeah, happy. Like, yeah. <laughs> those games are top tier. Absolutely. How about um, any multiplayer games? Like, what's your ooh, top multiplayer Todd? game? What you about the boys? Oh, I, the I, boys. I used to play. I used to play COD a lot. It's not my thing anymore. I, it kind of like just I kind of grew out of that, that yeah, yeah. version of my life. I feel like that's for a lot of people though, because also the games have just changed a lot growing up. We're so used wait, to wait, that wait. old state of the game. It's just yeah. different now. I feel like it's just a forte with a lot of people now. Like it's just drifting apart, but there, they're not bad. Do another big game like Bo Two. Yeah, there, I feel like just that era, like yeah. Bo Two, Minecraft. Dude, absolutely. Like all that these was, games, like just won't be like able early to Fortnite Two. Early, early Fortnite. Fortnite that's probably one of the best games like, ever. I know. Yeah. I'd say like top three. Season at five. I don't know all that. Season three. Season, season, season three. season three. Season four is when it ended being good. I like five personally. Season three was a top. I, one. I thought season six was like kind of like a revive. Like it came back yeah. and it came back season like with, with, with that Fortnite. Fortnite Mares was crazy. Yeah. That first no, year. Him, yeah. No, hear me up. Fortnite season three. No, absolutely. That's that's when yeah. I started. That's yeah, like that's when top I started two season. I started though. like, I want to say a week or two before Halloween during that first one. I, I started. Well, I started when as soon as it came out. I wanted to, but I didn't have Xbox Live Gold. Mm. Dude, but I didn't I, have an Xbox at the time. Whenever I yeah. started, I, I, I started watching. Uh, I forgot his name, dude, but he was really good. Uh, <laughs> he, he was no, he was a phase dude. I can't remember his name for the life of me. But Harvest. no, no. It, it was like earlier, like season one Fortnite. I had, I had knew about early. it. Early. The only the only person I'd watched play season one Fortnite was Phase Jeb. I think that maybe maybe it might have been him. I I'm used to sure. watch so much C Day and Noah's Noah. Dude, that was my. I would yeah. too. C Day, bro. But those well, are I haven't seen it. Didn't you stop uploading content? Yeah, yeah. just for a little bit. I, I started I, watching I Noah's Noah back. a lot, though. I still do. Yeah. Yeah, those are just like. Hey, Fortnite is just like, I feel since BO2 and Minecraft, like 360 games, Fortnite's been like the. The one to the carry on. The number one, like that. Yeah. Fortnite has done it. Even now, like how you said season six kind of revived it. Yeah. Now, every now and then, like there's Goku like Black, a, like there's yeah. something yeah. that makes you want to go There's something that's like, yo, up. that's crazy. Let me get that. Yeah. But hear me yeah. out. Prime Minecraft. Like 2010 Minecraft. Nothing can be That's just... Ever. Just, that's, I, that's, I mean, you're staying up till 3 a.m. with yeah. your headset on, just in the party with all your friends. Uh, absolutely. I will admit, sometimes I get a little tired of Minecraft now. Uh, dude, I mean, yeah, after all the times, like, yeah, yeah like after, after all, all the hours, hours. But yeah. it comes in waves though. Like, you get tired of it, they get really into it. They get but like, yeah. that first wave, like the first time you're on it's Minecraft so and you so play fun. with your homies and you start seeing like the type of different things you could make, the Ender Dragon, like, yeah. that was just like when you were like eight years old, you'd be making like just houses out of diamonds, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Houses, <laughs> creative, just doing like anything. Like, it was yeah. one of the few games where I feel like a kid could be. I can't. Ima imaginatively, like, yeah. free. Like, they could yeah. imagine and build whatever they want. Minecraft is a top tier game, bro. Like, S tier sure. plus. Absolutely. <clears throat> I mean, dude, even, like, now, like, um, whenever we, me and uh, my friend Anthony went on, like, a little bender for playing, we, uh, <laughs> dude, we were, like, the biggest grind. <laughs> 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 on Minecraft? Yeah, yeah, dude, there was a point, I had eight elytras that I got, like, no duping. Like, eight? Eight, eight elytras. Dude, yeah. y'all were just... Adventuring. Oh my god! I had um, full netherite, full enchanted. I, yeah, I had because we had yeah we had with full netherite. Do we had full netherite like within like a day or something like that? No, Dude. bro. Have you ever gone like, to like a like you just went to like Goblin Mall and just went mining for like a day straight? Yeah, absolutely. It was awesome. Yeah, dude, it's great. It's like good mining go, fun. Yeah, going for like netherite is like one of like the best like just relaxing. Yeah, yeah. like you just find one, you're like yeah, and you find like two like a, a vein of yeah. two. Yeah. Like, I feel like mining just like the music. Like Minecraft's one of the few games I don't need music playing in the background. Oh, yeah. like, I could Especially just like mine. the Nether, the Nether soundtrack is crazy. Yeah, it's shit, fire, bro. There's though. just triple, yeah. relaxing. There's triple just, platinum right there. Yeah, because there's just certain games that yeah. just have that music that's like, 
I don't want music playing with this. This music this. is just too good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then like, like the there's ambience, like, like no, yeah, the there's, the there's, there's one, when I do play uh, micro music, it's like the old old micro yeah. music. Yeah. OG. Yeah. yeah. But like whenever there's like three main games I can think of where it's like the, when I'm playing this game, the game music is just perfect. That's Terraria, Minecraft, and Risk of Rain Two. They're just Terraria. Terraria is what's up. Dude, Fire. Geometry Dash. <laughs> Hear me out. Right. Geometry <laughs> Dash has some bangers though. That like, Geometry broken. Dash is very fun. But back to Minecraft, Cake Wars was super fun. Like Cake Wars when they <laughs> inter- when they introduced like to be able to PvP made Online. Minecraft just like yeah. dude, OG Bed Wars. Just Fire. Cake Wars, Bed Fire. Wars, Egg Wars, dude, every, every, all any, the wars. Any type of war, yeah. <laughs> any war, I was there for. Except number two. Well, we're yeah. too. Oh, yeah, we, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. There's a, there's a few <laughs> servers we don't. We don't. <laughs> nah. Um, but yeah. Uh, how about you, Ernesto? What, did, what type of games did you play? Uh, I just I didn't really play in a lot of games. I was I was uh, real academic. You yeah. know, pushed mm-hmm. into school a lot. And um, at a certain point, I was like, well, I have to. I mean, I don't know. I, I had a console, but I didn't really use it. And when I did use it, uh, I didn't use it a lot. And then when I was able to, I didn't feel like it. And even now, I don't even feel like it. Yeah. Like, I, I I like playing it, but sometimes it's just, it gets boring and I have other things to do. So, yeah, I get that. I think it's just, a, it's a matter of growing up, you know what I mean? Being a, being a an adult, I guess, and just yeah. not having enough time to be able to do what you want to do. Absolutely. Sadly, like, I can't sit around playing games, but someday I'm going to, like, yeah. I'll have that time. Eventually, of course I will. Yeah. But you never had a time where, like, you had the time to sit down and play and you enjoyed well, nah, it? Nah, because I never felt as if that was, like, I've never, I'm not real sedentary. I feel like I have to do it, like, stuff all the time. Like, yeah. I, I, I have to get out. Like, I have to move. I have to. Like, you gotta be productive. Yeah, I can't just sit around all day. It's just, it, 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 it sits in my head all yeah. day and I can't deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. Like, mm-hmm. Who wants to deal with that? Like, you want to be able to, like, do something with your time and not well, work yeah, it on it. Because I feel like uh, there's, there's just so much more to do now than just than just being able to sit or just just allowing yourself to sit there like that like you can't allow yourself to do that you have to be, you have to strive for to more an extent like be better it is just with growing up like with if you start working with if you're focused on school focused on becoming a doctor focus on getting a job there's just so much time that you need to put into your future and i feel like it's more like an investment like to invest yeah. the time that you have now when you you're able to give that time so that you have more free time in the future. Yeah. yeah. It's like the more time you push, push, push into just setting yourself up instead of just, you know, having fun, spending time with others all the time mm-hmm. yeah. in high school. Like, if you just set up, set up, set up, you're good for, like, the rest of your life. You're yeah. Just but up. here's another thing, though. Yeah, this is – but here's the thing, though. Games are actually looked on like another sport, like a, just that basketball, football. So you can actually get scholarships – to portray what you want to do for yeah, that anything. is true yeah it and depends. that's understandable but i think it's just because of the audience and the uh, demographic that you're hitting i mean it's just larger now than it was 20 years ago yeah that's the same thing with basketball yeah, that's just how it is with like anything yeah, in general the reason you're able to make a career out of these things a career out of being a podcast that's cre- a career yeah. out of being a photographer is because there's so many eyes on the internet there's so many people having new interests every day and people doing things yeah, but- different people you could have a talent or a certain thing that you view something that someone else out there could really like. Yeah. And now that there's just so many outlets to have these things out, games, esports, photography, it's just like... Yeah. It depends on how you view it. Because if, you're, I, if you're playing games to waste time, if you're playing games to, bro, to do distract it. yourself from what you need to do, then like eventually you're going to have to get off the game. You're going to have yeah. to do the things you need to do. Yeah. But if you're doing it to compete, if you're doing it to entertain, if you're doing to it... To make it like, your job? like Yeah. It's the same thing as going to school for, like, anything. It's the same thing as working towards anything. If it's what you want and it's what you want to make a career out of, go for it. Yeah, because back then when the NFL used to be the AFL, bro, you used to make less than minimum wage playing professional football. Yeah. But now it's like you're some of the richest people because you play that sport. And because there's so many people willing to pay high-priced tickets to watch them play. Yeah. Yeah. Before, dude, they just played no helmets. Did they just yes. be out there like out there giving concussions, picks, <laughs> no, giving us, picks, like concussions, bro. dribbling people on the ground? That was just <laughs> they called a, a pigskin helmet, which is was basically a leather cap. They called a pigskin. Yeah, I seen they, that. Have they, you seen that? So you don't get cut, but that's kind of <laughs> it. Like, like nothing. It did nothing. Like that's how you know they just had to have been bored back then. Like <laughs> to be that like in a leather. They'd be cap. running into each other with a ball in hand. Yeah, it's like me running into like Jaden right now. Like, bro, that's not gonna. That is not gonna end well. That's crazy. But even then, like. The minimum wage back then and, like, the 
the currency value of yeah. U.S. money back then is probably just so much different. Like, yeah. Compared yeah. to now, completely different. Like, you play yeah. the NFL, you're a professional athlete, you're competing to be the best, you're making Billions the most money. Millions. Yeah. And then content, technology, um, the internet, there's just so many eyes on it. Yeah, because it's crazy how much just everything has changed. Like, having some special secret talent that you have, like, that you just want to be able you to can like, make money out of Being it, really good at taking yeah. photos, being really good at just playing games, entertaining people. That used to be like, oh, you can do that, sure, but you're not gonna get anything out of that. Now it's like, oh, you, you want to do that? It's like you can be it. one of the yeah. most famous but people he, in the world. Even then, it's not even like about the money. Like it's mainly about like the if passion. it's really what you love and you're willing. Like, cause even if you start, it's not gonna be like, oh, automatically you're gonna get this fat check. Nah. You're gonna go fight. You're gonna go against this. You gotta work towards school. it. Yeah, like there's gonna be people saying they don't like your stream, they don't like your video, but it's just all feedback. It's just all. Yeah. You got to view it as like any perspective. Any attention is good attention if you take it as good feedback and yeah. you build off of it and you just keep going, you keep pushing. And the fact that you can actually do that now that that's just it's, an option is it's it's presented amazing. to us. Because yeah. before, I feel like a lot of older people were just felt stuck. Like they felt like they were only limited to what their parents knew, what school yeah. knew. Like go get an office job and like yeah. this, like that's yeah. Because they have life, no just information. Check check. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's just now. I feel like everything's. Like, like things are a lot different. Yeah, because everyone in this room has their own like individual. Like you want to be an emergency medical doctor. You want to. I remember exactly what you want to do. What do I want to do? Keen. I don't know what you want to do. What does he want to do? What does he want to do? I forgot. You oh, forgot. He I forgot. forgot. Why did you forget? Um, Enlighten me. Well, I wanted to be. Uh, oh, I'm going to be an attorney. That's Ooh. right. Right. It was law. And it's then right. uh, Jaden has his law own firm. brand. He's starting. And then Jaden. Yeah, Jaden. Explain it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be a part of Geek. I'm going to have a clothing brand, but not only a clothing brand, have the Geek brand as just us as a people, us as a community, mm -hmm. making ideas, pushing it out content, pushing out music, pushing out creativity, and just us as a like, character. Geek isn't the brand. Geek is the group of people. Yeah, so Geek is like, well, huh. Geek is a brand, but like, we are Geek. But like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. It's kind of like, like an 88 Rising type thing. You know what that yeah. is? Yeah. yeah. I feel like, like, like I've Joji, heard of that. Like, yeah. Like, Joji's like, you know, like their like group and like, you know, Rick yeah, like, and stuff like that. Somewhat like that. Like, yeah. just that like Odd Future. A, yes, exactly. Yeah, like, that's exactly it. Exactly yeah. like yeah. that. Like, we're going to be pushing out clothes that we genuinely want to see people wear yeah. and feel yeah. comfortable in, feel happy in. Like, something that you want to keep nice in your closet. We want to make music that people can appeal to everyone because we're making, like, we plan to call it the freaks of, or I don't know if I want to say it, but we plan to make every kind of genre of music. Yeah. So just for everyone to listen to, because even if it's not like, like we love music, even if we don't want to put it out there to a specific audience, like, and we're trying to make a specific amount of money, specific business, we just, if we can make it, why not? Yeah. And if we love music, <clears throat> why not? Like if we have it, why not? Yeah. Cause like you have that passion, you have that want, everything is there for you. Do it. Exactly. Yeah. And then content making, we're going to be touring we're going to be doing pop-ups we're going to be making shirts why not record it we have conversations and laugh about anything all the time anyways exactly. like why not record it yeah exactly so that's my plan yeah, i'm just a big gamer God's speed, man. God's speed. <laughs> yeah but ernie i wanted to ask more about you like what kind like what yeah like are you trying to be top or... tier attorney attorney yeah. well of you course you always want to be top tier right yeah um so i plan to go to saint mary's in the fall yeah. right uh, okay. real respected law school at least at yeah. saint mary's and uh i know a lot of my family is in education and uh many of them are, are lawyers at firms now but they're older on the and they're on the older side so they'd have a lot more connections you know it's a lot of the things it in in life it's not what you know but it's who, who you know, you know yeah you know yeah I mean? it's Absolutely. how you get around uh, that's that's how homeless people are able to go like everywhere because i mean you, you meet one homeless person and they know like 400 other ones and it's like <laughs> where, where did y'all come from you know what i mean but it's like who you know and how you're able to deal with people uh, i plan to study uh criminal justice and criminology mm -hmm. a double major um and i plan to do some music in in, in college but I, I don't think it's going to be like my full um your focus yeah my full yeah. focus like of course i'm going to have stuff on the side but i think that'll be like personal or either you know just if i feel like it's like, 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 like classes yeah. for him or what? yeah yeah and then if, if anything like um i just want to bring a better uh, uh, like understanding and, and justice to some people that out, out there that you know maybe Maybe aren't necessarily misguided, but they need they need to be shown, mm -hmm. that, and that's yeah. just it. Like authority needs to be put down, and I mean I, I've been a victim of, of authority. Like I, I've mm -hmm. I've listened I've 
I've been I, I've been there and it's not nice. It's not good. And mm-hmm. If I can work with someone to get them out of that space and we can be become a better person, I think. Hey, yeah. I helped you out. You helped me out. Let's let's, <laughs> let's continue with our lives because I, yeah. I mean, why not? You know. Yeah. Everyone, if anything, I think everyone deserves a second chance. And then if they if if you take that second chance, and there's no more chances after that. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, would you consider doing something like maybe making like a nonprofit, like a, like doing pro bono cases? You know. Oh yeah, I mean uh, that's how you get your name out there. Yeah, that's how yeah. you get it started. That, that's I mean. That's that hard work you put in, even like, a lot with of the no things, profit. Yeah, a lot of the yeah. things now, um, uh, especially with education and, and everything going on with schools in general, are such big cases out there in general, yeah. unspecified. But yeah, like um, in our political climate, with everything that's going around, um, you would want to put your name out there, and people yeah. are not going to want to pay. So yeah. you're going to have to make yourself known. And once you and once you make that that name, once known, you make like that you first, start yeah. charging. Yeah. Start yeah. Charging. Once it's known, like people who are like who have the money to spend, who want someone who could get them out of that, people are gonna, are gonna come to you for you. Right. Yeah. So that sounds amazing. I hope the best for you. And that's so. the work. That's the work we have to put in. You yeah. Know? Yeah. But I mean, it sounds like you got it. You have the like you said connections. Like that is important. Just being nice and respectful to everyone you know, because you never know. Maybe they yeah. could help you out. Maybe they know someone who could benefit you. Right. Yeah. So, dang, we learned about everyone all, here. Everyone, everyone here, what we all plan to do, Kevin. And hey, we're gonna we gonna make it happen. We're gonna make it yes, happen. Yes, we are gonna make it happen. <laughs> hey, I Kevin, think all I, of us have big futures. And Kevin. Kevin. Kevin's gonna. And Kevin. He's, yeah, because he's gonna be in esports. I'm hyped yeah. to see that dog. Man, I'm, I'm gonna need to see you get some clutches, some aces, man. Yeah, <laughs> I need to see you on like House of Highlights or something. Well, I'm yeah. not, bro. I, I need to see him on the big stage at the finals or whatever yeah, gets big at that yeah, point. Well, I'm like that. Yo, that's my boy. I went to school with him. Did you at the majors, Doug? No, here's the thing, though. I got an offer for A&M. I made their team. So after this, I'm going straight to A&M. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah, that's and then amazing. I got an offer, not an offer, but like I got a big scholarship from UTSA to go in mm. for software engineering. So Fuck. like I just finished putting in my decision. I just got to do the online orientation. That's so, yeah. yeah, it's amazing. I'm, just, I'm glad to hear that we're all, you know, getting ourselves set up for our futures. Mm-hmm. All right, well, yep. I think that about wraps up this episode. Absolutely. Joseph, it has been an amazing time. I appreciate you for coming on Sorry. to our show. Sorry. You're good. <laughs> okay. All right, now we're going to cut to the sign. Yeah. All right. And now Joseph will be our fourth person to sign on our whiteboard. Okay. That was awful. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming on. Of course. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That is a wrap. All right, guys.